Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got the Iron Trans Police Car the mini series M01 so this is kind of weird because uh, Iron Trans is a new company and there's speculation that they uh, are mega fan stores or even hot soldiers but in disguise or rebranded I don't know but the figure itself feels either a knockoff of a design that was shown by Hot Soldier or uh, they come up with their own or it's Hot Soldier as a disguise series so anyway it's kind of odd but yeah they ju just came out of nowhere so I picked up Prowl right here which is police car obviously but I, I like Prowl so I took you know figure Prowl so yeah we got the box right here a, a decent enough cartoon representation of the figure on the front We've got all three releases so far. So we have Prowl, Blue Streak, and uh, Smoke Screen. Uh, they're all released. I, like I said, I just picked up uh, Prowl. And yeah, some sites uh, sells them separately, other sites sells them uh, as a batch together. I just took Prowl because I hate repaints anyway. So yeah, underneath we have legal stuff. On the side, we've got this thing right here. Now this thing, I believe maybe it's because I got a pre-order version, but I do have some extra missiles. So yeah, well, shoulder cannons. Yeah, we'll come back to this in the figure. On the side we have Prowl in robot mode. In the back we got some shots in warrior model and car model. <laughs> so yeah, let's stop wasting time and open it up. So uh, we've got the figure right here. Prowl here, and we have his gun. Let's throw this aside. All right, so first up, we got uh, the accessories. So we have, uh, again, some more shoulder cannon. These are gray, while these ones are red. So I'm not sure why. I believe the gray one's for them, for Prowl, and the red one might be for smokescreen. I don't know. But yeah, they are identical. So let's open these up. So we have the uh, police lights right here. So it's just detached because obviously the other figures, smoke screen and uh, blue street doesn't have any uh, lights. So yeah, and we can apply it right here. They come to the back of the figure and we have this plug here. So let's plug it in, voila. So yeah, let's bring this. Let's look at the missiles or shoulder cannons. So they do have articulation just here, so yeah, they'll up and down. The red one are identical. Uh, this is painted metallic, this is painted the gray. Well, it's not painted, it's probably just normal gray. And the other ones are identical, just red. So I'm not gonna waste any time with those. I uh, like the gray one. And both are identical. This, we even have like in the small press button, just like in the G1, you just pressed it and the missile was launched. Obviously, this doesn't work, but it's cool. <laughs> and to uh, uh, place them, you just have like put them here in the hole. Voila, it's really tight, but it fits. Uh, so this one goes in, and voila, we have Prowl with his shoulder cannon. And speaking of which, we have Prowl himself. Oh, uh, wait, the gun. I <laughs> forgot the gun. Now, the gun is really nice. It uh, looks a lot like G1 and the Masterpiece one. Only, uh, yeah, small and metallic color. So, yeah, real cool. And obviously, you can hold it. It's really tight, but it does fit. So, yeah, we have Prowl now in figure. I like the robot mode, and it looks really damn cool. It's a really nice figure. Now, it is, it is a, a legend size figure, but it, it is a, amongst the tallest of the legend size. So, if you know... Uh, Maybe make a fan stories and hot soldiers are pretty much the same uh, in height size and yeah it's pretty much the same height as this one so yeah uh, really cool a nice head sculpt real cool everything is painted uh, be careful uh, when transforming the uh, crest popped out it wasn't broken it just popped out so yeah just can put it back in so it's not very solid but yeah, it holds 
So yeah, we're gonna go figure. Oh, I forgot the instructions. Now transformation is rather quite easy, so I didn't have any problem. But let's take a look at the instruction nonetheless. So yeah, two sided. Yoink. So we got robot mode right here, all in gray. Show you how to transform the figure. And whoop. Ah, it's thick. No, don't break. All right. <laughs> All right, on the other side of the uh, instructions. So it's just plain gray figure with nice big arrows on how to fold and transform. So, yeah, cool thing. Didn't have any problem with this, but yeah, figure itself is really nice. Uh, the head is only a ball joint, so it can move up so high. It can rotate, and I'm going to remove the gun because... They are sort of in the way, and the gun does articulate, so it goes up and down, so both of them. So yeah, head can rotate. Like I said, a really nice head skull. I really, uh, really love this one. Uh, the wings in the back door are on some ball joints, so they can flip, like, all the way. You can put them up or back. I like to have the wings arms are on ball joints so they can uh, also butterfly like this they are on ball joints like here so they can rotate and everything do have a rotation at the upper arm do have a single joint 90 degrees at the elbow and nothing at the wrist you have uh, waist rotation do have the legs that does the split completely and can also move front and back like this you do have a uh, swivel at the upper knee this the knee does bend more than 90 degrees uh no no 90 degrees oh, i thought it went further yeah and the feet can uh move up like this can move like this uh, it can separate like this and we do have a ankle well a heel spur i guess so you can move it side to side so still lots of articulation in this figure Uh, I can do a little comparison. Let's move this in the back. A little comparison. So uh, we have Magic Square. I uh, know that Magic Square. Uh, New Age Prowl right here. So New Age and the Iron Trance figures. Well, as you can see, a huge difference. Transformation is very, very similar both of them. But uh, yeah, much, much smaller. And we have also an again New Age Iron Hide right here. So again, in, uh, the New Age uh, line is much smaller. Uh, something more of the size, I'd say, uh, the, the Mecha Fence Toys. So we have Mecha Fence Toys, Rodimus, and, and uh, Mecha Fence Toys gear. So yeah, like I said, Mecha Fence Toys feels more in the same range. Uh, we do have, just for the fun of it, uh, Iron Factory. We have Jazz. Let's move this side. So we have Iron Factory Jazz, which is a little bit too small, and Iron Factory uh, Mirage. So again, a little bit small-ish. One head too small. Still fits, but mm, I guess I make a fence so it feels more in the same wave. Uh, another comparison of, just for the fun of it, I get Masterpiece Prowl right here. So, yeah, <laughs> a little difference. And also, uh, I got the uh, one original Hasbro Legend size, so we got Brawn from Titans Return. So, uh, similar size. So, yeah, lots of comparison from all the figures. Like I said, I believe it goes more in the same category of the Mega Fan Stories knockoffs where they're online, so... It's the among the biggest of the legend size, you know. All right, now, transformation. Look at that transformation is rather easy. So let's do this. Look, first off, remove the gun. It's really tight. All right, next up, uh, you can move this panel up. Flip. Uh, wait. Uh, take the whole uh, windshield part and slide it all the way down like this. Completely. Now you can flip the whole chest up, have the head there. If you want to 
pull the arms up a little bit and just bring it with the uh, by side of the shoulder the black part outside you want to bring the arms completely down oops I'll pull the uh, arm off All right so you need to pull out the joint bring the arms down like this and there's a sort of a gap inside of the forearm this gap will sort of marry or just snuggle inside of the uh, side skirt so just move like this and you can see it goes in so yeah that's pretty much it came for the other arm so slide it up so just slide the uh, uh, the forearm like this it's sort of a, a sort of a slider so you move it up towards you like this uh, leave the door up bring this like this put it in make sure the wheels are straight like this and you're pretty much done oh move the arms out you need to rotate the waist and now you can close it now yes now you can see the side skirt kind of go inside of the forearm so that's what we like we want all right uh, take the hood bring it down and it's sort of on a double hinge so bring it down and clip it in voila come to the legs the legs are pretty easy uh, just slip those down there's a uh, peg right here on the side of the well calf and the pegs on the side of the window so take it in voila same thing on the other side here you go now you peg the legs together like this and now you just bring the whole thing up like this so that the thighs goes up and there's a uh, peg right here that will go uh, right inside of here voila bring the hood down bring the arms down and now you all you have to do is close the doors so there's a peg here and a peg hole right here close it in and close the other one so yeah voila we have the car well, why doesn't want to peg it in? all right so voila we have the car done uh, a little great for me, uh, no storage for the women. Oh, we forgot this. The heels, <laughs> heel spurs need to go in. Voila. So yeah, like I said, there's no storage for the gun now. So a little bit disappointed for this. Uh, you do have the uh, cannon that still can peg on the hood, which was uh, the uh, shoulder pads sort of. So yeah, the gun can still go on top, but this one right here doesn't. So, eh, a little bit disappointed for this, but still. Now the vehicle looks pretty cool. Uh, we do have nice painted blue uh, translucent headlights, nice red light here, the red light of the sirens are here. We do have the police logo on the side and back yellow lights, painted windows. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I would have liked more paint job especially in robot mode where the shoulders knee are bland would have liked maybe like the police logo on the shoulder but yeah so yeah it does roll <laughs> like everything that rolls uh the ball joint right here sort of looks kind of funky if you ask me so uh yeah still looks good but not perfect. The size feels uh, a little bit bigger than the Hot Wheels car, but yeah, I don't have any Hot Wheels to compare it to the... Uh, anyway, I'll compare it with uh, some other friends that I have right here. Alright, so comparison, we've got the new wage prowl right here, so a smaller version. So, really, sm really small. We have the, well, for fun, masterpiece one, obviously. <laughs> and uh new age again this is, these are two new age so new age iron hide and prowl which are much smaller while masterpiece is on the other hand we've got the uh mecha fans toys rodimus so they are pretty pretty the same size 
a little bit wider around this, but yeah. Like I said, Mega Fence Toys and Iron Soldier or Iron Trans, pretty much the same line. So that's good. Uh, another Mega Fence Toys Gears. So this one is a little bit smaller. I shouldn't have used him for comparison because it's a mini bot, but yeah, whatever. Uh, we got Hasbro's uh, Titans Return Brawn. So yeah. Not the same size. <laughs> and we have Iron Factory's Jazz. Now, Iron Factory Jazz is close, and in robot mode, it was also close, maybe a head smaller, but eh, it, it shows, you know. So, yeah, it's pretty much it. <laughs> Move these aside. Move these aside. So, yeah, Iron Trans uh, Police Car. Uh, that's an ugly name. But yeah, Prowl. Uh, from uh, a new uh, division called Iron Trans, which we believe it's Iron uh, Hot Soldiers. So, yeah, still a really cool. I really don't like the gap here with the ball joints of the the, the, the door, but the plastic feels great. It's really solid. Uh, the transformation is fun. It's nice, non-complicated. Nothing, nothing we've never seen before, but it's there. And the size is about right. A nice, good legend size on the uh, bigger legend size figures. So, yeah, be mindful of that. Uh, if you look inside, you kind of, sort of feel like it's, like, you know, the thighs made for the the, the chairs and stuff. You know, kind of looks, but eh, whatever. Just my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, still a real cool figure. I picked this up uh, at uh, seratories.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below the video if you're interested in picking it up. Uh, there's also the brothers that it came out. So if you're not a Prowl fan, you also have Blue Streak and Smoke Screen to choose from. So yeah, I do recommend picking this uh, this figure up. It's a really cool small Prowl. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. And thank you for watching and see you next time.